This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 748. Why Coconut Oil is Good for Your Teeth by Kayla McDonald with Healthline.com. And I'm Dr. Neil Malik, reading you some of the most popular health and fitness blogs out there with permission from the websites, of course. Well, it's the middle of the week, so we are due for a little inspiration. Quote, it's choice, not chance, that determines your destiny. Jean Nidich. All right, with that, let's get right to today's post as we optimize your life. Why Coconut Oil is Good for Your Teeth by Kayla McDonald with Healthline.com. Coconut oil has been getting a lot of attention lately. It's been linked to numerous health benefits, including weight loss. There are also claims that it can clean and whiten your teeth while helping to prevent tooth decay. This article examines the latest research on coconut oil, your dental health, and teeth. What is coconut oil? Coconut oil is an edible oil extracted from coconut meat and is one of the world's richest sources of saturated fat. However, coconut fat is unique because it is made mostly entirely of medium-chain triglycerides, or MCTs. MCTs are metabolized differently than the long-chain fatty acids found in most other foods and therefore may have potential health benefits. Lauric acid is a medium-chain fatty acid that makes up almost 50% of coconut oil. In fact, this oil is the richest source of lauric acid known to human beings. Your body breaks lauric acid down into a compound called monolaurin. Both lauric acid and monolaurin can kill harmful bacteria, fungi, and viruses in the body. According to research, Lauric acid is more effective at killing these pathogens than any other saturated fat. What's more, studies suggest that many of the health benefits associated with coconut oil are directly caused by lauric acid. The most popular ways to use coconut oil for your teeth are using it in a process called oil pulling or making toothpaste with it. I'll explain both later in this article. Bottom line, coconut oil is an edible oil extracted from the meat of coconuts. It's high in lauric acid, which may kill harmful bacteria, fungi, and viruses in the body. Lauric acid can kill harmful mouth bacteria. One study tested 30 different fatty acids and compared their ability to fight bacteria. Of all the fatty acids, lauric acid was the most effective. Lauric acid attacks harmful bacteria in the mouth that can cause bad breath, tooth decay, and gum disease. It is particularly effective at killing an oral bacterium called Streptococcus mutans, which is a leading cause of tooth decay. Bottom line, the lauric acid in coconut oil attacks harmful bacteria in the mouth that can cause bad breath, tooth decay, and gum disease. It can reduce plaque and fight gum disease. Gum disease, also known as gingivitis, involves inflammation of the gums. The main cause of gum disease is the buildup of dental plaque due to harmful bacteria in the mouth. Current research shows that coconut oil can decrease plaque buildup on your teeth and fight gum disease. In one study, oil pulling with coconut oil significantly decreased plaque buildup and signs of gingivitis in 60 participants with plaque-induced gum disease. What's more, a significant decrease in plaque was noticed after just seven days of oil pulling, and plaque continued to decrease over the 30-day study period. After 30 days, the average plaque score decreased by 68%, and the average gingivitis score decreased by 56%. This is a major decrease in both plaque and gum inflammation. Bottom line, oil pulling with coconut oil helps decrease plaque buildup by attacking harmful mouth bacteria. It can also help fight gum disease. It can prevent tooth decay and loss. Coconut oil attacks Streptococcus mutans and Lactobacillus, which are the two groups of bacteria primarily responsible for tooth decay. Several studies suggest that coconut oil can reduce these bacteria as effectively as chlorhexidine, which is the active ingredient used in many mouth rinses. For these reasons, coconut oil can help prevent tooth decay and tooth loss. Bottom line, coconut oil attacks the harmful bacteria that cause tooth decay. Studies have shown that it can be as effective as some mouth rinses. How to oil pull with coconut oil. Oil pulling is a growing trend, but it's not a new concept. In fact, the practice of oil pulling started in India thousands of years ago. Oil pulling is the act of swishing oil in your mouth for 15 to 20 minutes and then spitting it out. In other words, it's like using oil as a mouthwash. Here's how to do it. Put a tablespoon of coconut oil in your mouth. Swish the oil around for 15 to 20 minutes, pushing and pulling it between teeth. 
spit out the oil into the trash or toilets so that it can clog sink pipes. Then brush your teeth. The fatty acids in the oil attract and trap bacteria, so each time you oil pull, you're potentially removing harmful bacteria and plaque from your mouth. Oh, and it's best to do this right away in the morning before you eat or drink anything. Bottom line, oil pulling is the act of swishing oil in your mouth for 15 to 20 minutes and then spitting it out. It may remove harmful bacteria and plaque. Homemade toothpaste with coconut oil. Coconut oil has many uses and you can also make your own toothpaste with it. Here's a simple recipe. Ingredients. Half a cup of coconut oil two tablespoons of baking soda, 10 to 20 drops of peppermint or cinnamon essential oil. Directions. One, heat the coconut oil until it becomes soft or liquid. Two, stir in the baking soda and mix until it forms a paste-like consistency. Three, add the essential oil. And four, store toothpaste in a sealed container. To use, scoop it with a small utensil or toothbrush. Brush for two minutes, then rinse. Bottom line. In addition to oil pulling, you can make your own toothpaste using coconut oil, baking soda, and essential oil. Take home message. Coconut oil may attack the harmful bacteria in your mouth. It may reduce plaque buildup, prevent tooth decay, and fight gum disease. For these reasons, oil pulling or brushing your teeth with coconut oil may significantly improve oral and dental health. You just listened to the post titled, Why Coconut Oil is Good for Your Teeth by Kayla McDonald with Healthline.com. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. One of my sisters-in-law has sworn by this method for a long time. She just recently saw her dentist and her dentist was saying how great her teeth look. And anecdotally, she said she had been using coconut oil as her main source of toothpaste and as a mouth rinse. And the dentist said, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Now, when I first heard about this technique, I was like, you've got to swish this stuff in your mouth for 15 to 20 minutes? I was thinking, you mean 15 to 20 seconds, right? Because that seems more normal. Nope, it is 15 to 20 minutes. And so the recommendations are, if you decide to try this out, start with five minutes or less. If your jaw starts to hurt, then it's time to quit. And it also probably means you're swishing too hard. It should also be mentioned that this should not substitute for regular dental checkups. That's always important. And the other caveat is that if there is some tooth decay that's happening, this probably won't reverse it. And so that's damage that's already been done, but it may prevent further tooth decay. So again, if oil pulling using coconut oil as a toothpaste or a mouth rinse is something that you're thinking about trying, definitely talk to your dentist first and make sure they're on board. All right, before I go, now that we're just a couple of days away from the end of the month, a quick reminder that we give away a book to random people on our mailing list on the first of every month. So if you want to be a part of that for free, plus get some spreadsheets to help you optimize your health and hear about our monthly challenges, come by oldpodcast.com and join the weekly newsletter. Again, that's oldpodcast.com and it's totally free to join. All right, that'll do it for Wednesday's episode and I'll be back here tomorrow as usual where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, And together, we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us and remember, your optimal life awaits.